is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2016 SJ Pour Challenge is dedicated to your friend and ours, Paul Wickstein. Brought to you by Brewcraft USA. I make Gladfield Malting, Yakima Valley Hops, The Grain Bill, Brewers Exchange, K Kingdom Homebrew Supply, Hiraki Homebrew, and a special thanks to our silver sponsors. All right, folks, we're here for another 2016 SJ4 Challenge beer review. This is the last one. We have 28N82N74C. This is a O'Reilly Light, and it's described as a brown porter aged with Irish cream coffee. The ABV on it is 3.68. I heard nothing there that I could disapprove of. <laughs> Let's see Save this one for last, because it sounds very interesting. Sounds downright tasty. Got a good hiss? Yes, we did. Mmm. Coffee. I was expecting quite a bit more head from a porter. I, I stole it all. So you did, you <laughs> bastard. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks very nice. Well, can't see a damn thing through it. So, yeah, that's a porter. Uh, well, it does look clear, though. I can see a little bit around the edges of the glass. So it does look like a clear porter, but very dark. It is definitely a dark brown. Uh, I have good a full, carbon. full finger hit on mine. Good carbonation. Very yeah, good I, carbonation. You stole all the damn. In fact, we'll get it, bring it up here. You can see that the bubbles are clinging to the glass. They're very carbonated in there. I well, smell coffee. hello, dark coffee. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm awake now. How about you? I smell. Coffee and maybe a little bit of uh, caramel malts. I definitely can smell where they're going or where they're coming from for the Irish coffee because it does have that, you know, little creaminess at the end of the smell. Yeah, coffee's definitely first, and I do smell a little bit of the caramel malts behind it. I'm, uh, I'm thinking it's time to sip. Yep. Cheers. Slancha. Well, that coffee hits you first and just keeps on coming. Yep. Nice clean finish, too. Yeah, and the carbonation's probably about medium on this. Right about where you'd want it on a porter, right? Yeah, not too much. I like that. It's very pleasant. Yeah. <clears throat> They're, they kind of like melt together. You can taste the coffee, and you can also taste the, the various malts there going on. And it's, it's neither one of them is overpowering the other. Mm. Almost a chewy beer, too. Yeah, a little bit. Something... I'm trying to put my finger on it right in the middle, the front. Not getting the, not really getting the creamy from this, though. Mm. I was expecting. Yeah, it was all over the aroma, but. Hmm. Not quite as rich as I would expect a coffee beer. Mm -mm. No, but it's nice and mellow, I think. Yeah, it balances as well. It's not. It's not. Too, oh, it's certainly balanced. It's not too much overpowering on either side, really. And now I'm finished. It was just too damn good. I thought that was <laughs> my job. <laughs> hmm. This is bugging me. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's definitely good. It's really good, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <Ain't> well. <laughs> hmm. 
I'm overthinking this. Thanks for the beer. Yep. Thanks, guys. And that's it for the uh, SD4 Challenge beers for me. So good luck to everybody in the challenge. And uh, thanks for letting me take part. No problem. See you guys uh, on the next video. Take care. Cheers.